Okay, I'm assuming that I am all, you didn't saw me put on my lip gloss, but you know, at this point, that's my thing. I put on my lip gloss and some people don't want me to do it. Yeah, my last partner in crime, my girl. She's like, all you do is be putting on your lip gloss and I took that to heart and I stopped doing it. But who's to say that's not my thing? Hey, I used you as a mirror, okay? And y'all don't be sitting up there, hey girl, hey girl, hey, you had something in the corner of your mouth or you had an eye booger, <laughs> okay? You have a whole video with a booger going in and out of your nose as you breathe. <laughs> Happy Monday, we're back at it again, hey, hey, hey. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I did. I had a wonderful win weekend. I reconnected with some old girlfriends of mine, you know, had a little kickback and and was happy and enjoyed life. I did a video that I edited, but I haven't put them all together. Um, uh, yeah. I, have, I haven't put them all together to make the video, but that should be done later on today. So, um, hello, hello, hello. Yes, that video is about death and how I see the afterlife. The fact that, well, how I feel about afterlife, if there's an afterlife. You know, and how some religions, you know, brief research on how certain other religions do not believe in life after death. Um, there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There. There it is. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I had an awesome weekend. We connected with some friends. Oh my God! Um, just learning to get right back out into this life of socialities, socializing, not alities, socializing again. So um, let me get to my subject this morning. What was on my mind? this morning my morning thoughts it is these end times and false prophets and those people who grind my gears a little bit not a little bit but a lot and um, it's the ones that that think that they know I mean, like, they know, like, they, I mean, yes, you could tell at this time, there are going to be signs of the time of the, that the time is coming to an end, that Jesus is coming back. It's very clear. The intensity of the birth pains, that is the, not only, not only, only are, is there wars and rumors of wars, but they're more intense. The uh, warring against nation, and that doesn't necessarily mean, um, Canada against America. We're talking of nations are people like I'm a black American and an African we could be fighting at war or the Mexicans against you know black you know Africans and stuff like that. Um, race wars and stuff. Race wars is a, a nation against nation. You know what I'm saying? White people against black people. Black people against white people. Mexicans against black people. All that. Okay, um, not only that these will happen, I just use wars and rumors of wars and a nation against a nation as, the, as one of the many types of birth pains. The, um, my pastor has been talking about the dishonoring and disrespecting of your parents. It said that is a part of the birth pains and not only will they be disrespect. You know, so when children have been disrespecting their parents for years, yes, but the intensity of it. We have a government that tells our children that it's okay 
it's okay to disrespect your parents and we'll have your back. And you know what I'm saying? And we will have your back. It's a whole community. Now, even when the parent is not always right, you was, I was always taught to still respect them. I don't have to have an attitude with them. You can still say yes ma'am and no ma'am, but you don't have to actually, you know, like if they tell you to do something, it's like I can't, Lord, and you know, this is breaking the law. I know this is breaking the law. He's like, no, ma'am, I'm sorry, I can't do it. There was a way that we spoke to our parents that these children do not. Okay? And in it all, and I and I gotta say, I'm gonna give a little big ups to my son, is my son never disrespected me. I mean, like, he disrespected me by not, by disobeying me, but he's never called me a bitch. I think maybe one time he may have cussed in my direction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he never really, he never, even in his terrible teens, he was never, he never called me out of my name. Maybe with his friends, maybe in private with the door closed. But he never, to me, called me out of my name you know that I can remember I think you know no not even in text message he never did that so big ups to Nathan um I didn't make all the right decisions when raising your son but uh the lord I'm so happy that the Lord have blessed me for something that didn't at least, did not call me out my name, wasn't hitting on me, wasn't still, well, he did still for me, but a rite of passage, I did it to my parents, my mother, <laughs> more specifically, you know, you want something, your mom won't give it to you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, or you don't want to ask your mom every day for something, and you you know, you siphon money from her purse a little bit, a dollar at a time, you know. Kids don't do that. That's wrong. Okay? And it comes back to bite you in the butt when you have children of your own. Okay? I mean, it didn't bite me too hard. I, I was kind of upset with him. But, you know, it was whatever. Anyway, but my, my topic is there's some very... There's people that I know. They are real boastful. Like they they're real judgmental and I, I have to I give grace to them because everybody work wakes up to their own alarm clock. And I, and the funny thing is these people are so judgmental, but they never they people love them. People love them. But they don't like me because I look judgmental. You know what I'm saying? Because I look judgmental. They don't like me because I, they look like, I look like I'm judging them. I don't know. Whatever. But there's some people out there that, you know, like I know these people. And I remember being really judgmental, really believing that I was better than others because I was saved. Better than... Yeah, people, because I went to church, I, went, or I, I was saved, and I knew the Lord, and I read the Bible occasionally. Okay. Because God had saved me, you know, because I had my relationship with God um, through my brother Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Father God. Because I prayed. I went to church every day as a kid. Well, you know, every Sunday, Sunday evening, and Wednesday night. I thought I was better than the average person who never went to church. Or the average person that, hey, um, that never went to church or whatever. 
and I really felt I was really I was judgmental I really was and um and I see it it, it bothers me now because I'm not as judgmental anymore because I realized that being judgmental doesn't draw people to Christ you know it's like girl I was there I was worse because I knew the Lord I grew up in the church I knew the Lord and I still acted the damn fool you know what I'm saying and um to know that you know the Lord and you still you still lie and you cheat and you you're no different than the man you again I feel like you know real honestly some of these church religious folk and there's a lot of religious folk that have no faith and that that has zero faith I mean you got people that you would think no not mother Johnson not mother Johnson mother Johnson is a person okay she wants you to believe that she ain't doing no sin she wants you to believe that she heard from the Lord and the Lord heard her okay but Mother Johnson is sleeping with Deacon Jones and sipping the Henny on the weekend, okay? But she don't want you to know that. Um, and they're quick to say, oh, this is the Antichrist and blah, 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 blah. And they want to give you the news. And it'd be, it'll be real news, but... <laughs> There's just an air of, I'm, it, how do I say it? You sound religious and you sound good and you sound like you have the Lord, but you don't. <laughs> like I wanted to say more, but you, but you don't. You don't, you have very little faith. You know, you 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 barely read the Bible. When's the last time you cracked open the Bible and actually read it without it being Bible study? Just read it for yourself, needing guidance for your life. You know what I'm saying? When's the last time you said, you know, you was in a conundrum and you don't know what to do and um, you actually opened up the Bible and lifted, bowed your head and said, God, what do I do? I mean, if your parent, well, my mom and my stepdad or my dad has passed on. <clears throat> and as I got older, and even in my teenage years, I would ask, Mom, you know, what should I do, blah, blah, blah. Well, God is a father. When's the last time you asked him, Lord, I don't know what I should wear, or this person is getting on my nerve, how do I handle it? In prayer. And you go to his word and you ask him, what do you do? What do you do? How do I handle this? You know, I'm losing the love of my husband. How do I do this, Lord? How do I? When's the last time you go there? You know what I'm saying? Why are you judging everybody else? Relationships and or lack therein. When's the last time you went to the Word? But you think you're a Christian because you got baptized? You know how many people go down a, a dry devil and come back up a wet devil? I mean, you know what I'm saying? This fake human, uh, hu the fake humility of, oh, I just want to do this for, to, to do God's will. I don't want no money from it. I, and, and that person, if, they rarely listen to this, but she is still my close friend, but I have never really, I haven't got a chance to really, because it, it's just hasn't been the mood or whatever but that to me that sounds like faith humility 
I know this person, the person that I'm saying it to and that gave me this feeling, I love her dearly. I love her dearly, but I know also sometimes feel like this person gives me be low key putting take putting jabs in because I believe in monetizing on my time and gifts. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not doing anything for a dollar. This person actually said to me that she feels like I'm a money hungry. Because I believe in monetizing for my time. I'm, this isn't going to be free all. This is not going to be free. I'm not going to be giving you these jewels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My time. For free for the rest for, for a long period of time. It's just like that new uh, uh, restaurant. They might give you samples until y'all realize their food is delicious and y'all come there and, and you start building up. And then you ain't going to get nothing free from them anymore. Unless it's your birthday or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I do believe I will. I'm going to be huge a huge content creator podcaster peep there's gonna be people out there that is gonna be in my tribe and is gonna feel what I'm feeling and not only just feel what I'm feeling but will correct me when I'm wrong but they're gonna be in there's gonna they're gonna feel me and they're going to pay and they're going to support and I, now I'm not trying to get you know but I, I do want money monetize my gifts. There's nothing wrong with monetizing on the gift. It is what you're doing for it. I'm not out here showing you cleavage. I'm not out here um, twerking. Not that I don't twerk. And not that you might not see me on the camera having a good time with my girls twerking. Okay, but I'm not doing it for the money. You don't get to see every part of my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not putting everything on camera. I'm not putting my son's birthday on camera. I'm not putting everything on camera. That's money hungry. That is someone who is clout chasing, as the kids say nowadays. You know what I'm saying? That's money hungry. But knowing your value and demanding a price for your value, for your time, for your knowledge... Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to take money from the poor. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my worth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, Lady Queen Harrison. And you right. Um, um, actions speak much louder than words. Sometimes I would tell you, stop. Don't look at what people say. Look at what they do. Right, people don't ask. Oh, just ask for help. You and indeed, you're right. Uh, humble yourself and say, "Look, I need help. Can't do it by myself." So, thank you. All uh, this, is, I'm just so joy that I actually have a person on there, and I'm just not talking to myself until <laughs> later. But yes, um. Just, I, I'm, true humility is knowing that you need help. True hum, humility is knowing that you don't know everything and that you could be fooled. You know what I'm saying? True humility is saying, ah, I got it wrong. I was wrong about that. You know what I'm saying? That's humility. It's not not wanting money for your time or for your gifts and talents. It's not not wanting to take accolades either. That's imposter syndrome. Anyway, I could go on for a while. Um, but I'm at my destination. Y'all have a good day. Be, um, okay, first of all, let me find my, so I can get into the bra. Ooh, I'm glad they have two. I need to clean out my car. I can't find things. 
my okay anyway goodbye y'all have a good day remember love your neighbor love yourself and stay authentic bye